So hello, welcome back to yet again another bass video. Now bass have been the only fish I've been targeting lately really um, and one thing I will say at the start of this video is we're in January now, this is my first fishing session of any kind of fishing in uh, 2023. Um, now obviously in the UK um, there's restrictions on bass, it's purely catch and release. Um, although I have no intention of keeping any fish today, obviously sometimes you do get the got hooked one. Um, here in Guernsey we are allowed to keep them, we don't run under the same uh, rules as the UK. So we obviously have our size limit, which is the same, the 42 centimetre. But from the shore, recreational anglers, there's no actual um, limit or ban on taking any fish during these months. So I just thought I'd put that at the start of the video. As I said though, I'm not planning to keep any fish today. On my last session was uh, when I was out, I think I had six or seven fish and I ended up having to keep one because it took the, uh, the hook right into the gills. But uh, yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, but I just thought I'd get that out there at the start of the video and clear that up. Now, I've come out today with my normal lure rod, um, 7 to 35 gram Shimano Enos. Got a Shimano Vanford 4000 on there, and I've actually put a soft plastic on to start today. Um, it's a Savage Gear Sand Eel, 23 gram um, little lure, so we're going to be starting with that. I'm going to be fishing over a sort of sandy area into the relatively deep water. Um, there's a few birds out there, they're not exactly working, but they're flying around as if they're clocking something, so... Um, I'm looking forward to getting a lure in the water. Um, I'm going to be down here for the next sort of hour and a half, I think. But hopefully we can hook into a bass today. I've not been out in a couple of weeks. Um, like I said, this is the first session of 2023. So hopefully it's not going to start with a blank, but you never know. So I'm going to get over to the rocks there where I'm going to start fishing and uh, we'll see if we can find any bass. So as I said, that's the lure I'm going to be using, little Savage Gear sand deal there. Now, uh, I'm usually a little hesitant to use a soft plastic lure in spots like this because I don't really want to attract any wrasse. So by using a shallow diver or obviously a top water, um, but with a shallow diver you can just crank it a little bit quicker and the wrasse will t uh, generally just tend to chase it and not really hit it. So we could pick up a wrasse today on the soft plastic. I've got plenty of lures with me, so we'll chop and change and see what works. Um, I'm going to be doing the majority of the filming probably on my chest cam because I don't have much room on the SD card on this. But uh, yeah, I'll try and capture anything that happens and uh, hopefully something does happen. Are there going to be any bass here today? I'm just going to work it on pretty much a steady retrieve. Nothing too fancy about it whatsoever. Oh, that was a little hit. I reckon that could have been a ras, just as I was saying. That was relatively close in there, so I reckon that could have very well been a ras. No chunks taken out the lure. Come on, third cast, into a bass. Weird take that, it hit the lure beforehand. I thought I got hit by a little wrasse again. There's another bass right behind it. It's only small. Oh, there's two or three of them down there. Well, that there is a good sign because that means there's a few fish in here. There we go. How about that? Three casts down, first bass. Beautiful. So, third cast, first fish. Now I had a hit at first, which I thought was a wrasse. Then got hit by this bass. There were three bass following that, all the exact same size as this one, right to my feet, right inside to the rocks there. 
I couldn't actually tell which one was on the lure because they're all darting round like that. But there it is, lovely little bass, only a pound or so, just over a pound. But uh, yeah, great start that. So we'll get them unhooked and get them back in the water. Lure's out nice and easy. And here, we have our first fish. Beautiful. So last time I came here, I think I had a fish first cast and I went on to catch six or seven. So uh, to get that one on the third cast and to see those other fish following it in, gives me confidence I'll be able to catch a couple today. So I got hit once before that bass actually took. Now, uh, whether it was the same fish or not, I don't know, but... I've just got, oh, got hit again then. Really, there we go. Oh, is that stun on? Yep. Really, really subtle hits. This one's a bit lively. There's so many fish down there. I can see them all chasing the, uh, the one that's hooked. It's mad. Already we got another bass. This one's bigger as well. I say, well, it is bigger. It's not massive, but it's definitely bigger. Well, don't you just love bass fishing? That's a slightly nicer fish there. That one's pushing two pound. Now, the great thing about these, uh, these lures, single hooks, they come out so, so easily, cause literally no damage. That there is actually a nice fish. Another prime looking bass there. Absolutely amazing. This is why people get a bit jealous of the bass fishing over here in Guernsey. <laughs> so I do apologise. But uh, yeah, it's so much fun. Later, buddy. They're really subtle hits I'm getting, really, really subtle. That one there took, and it felt like it sort of just hit the lure and didn't connect, and then all of a sudden the rod just bent over. Really, really subtle hits. But there's definitely a few fish in here, so see how many we can find. I just had a big hit then. Whether that was a bass or a wrasse, I'm not sure, but that was a proper thump, that. Only a small one again. Just had a proper thump before. Whether it was a small fish hitting it side on or a bigger fish, I'm not sure. This one's the smallest one so far. What a session this is turning out to be. That one's definitely the smallest. It's the third bass of the session. Only a little tiny one, that. Well, this has turned out to be a great session and a great start so far. Can we get one on the next cast?
This is a lively one, this one. It's a better fish as well. Right, let's keep that pressure on. Boom. Another bass bites the dust. Well, that one actually felt a bit bigger than it was at first. Just going in the tide a little. They're all roughly the same size. So I'm guessing there's just a school of them, two pound, anything from two pound down. But there very well could be a big one in there. There really could be. So it's worth just fishing, seeing how many you catch, what you catch. Right, fine fish that, lovely job. And another one away. They're all gonna be fighting for that lure. But if there is a bigger one there, you've got every chance of hooking it. And if not, it's just so much fun catching any kind of bass. So I did wonder if I blanked today and uh, I've had about, I don't know, 10 or 12 casts and I think I've had five fish. And there really is nothing special to it. I'm just literally straight retrieving the lure. Every now and then I'll slow it down or speed it up a bit. But basically I'm just straight retrieving it, so. You don't need to be any bass guru or fishing expert to do this whatsoever. Once you find the fish in bass fishing, as long as you're equipped with a few different kinds of lures, you should be able to catch them no problem. The hard work is working out where they are, at what times, what tides, and then also why they're there at that time. And once you get a few spots where you've worked that out, you should become more, more successful, more, um, what's the word, not confident, but uh, consistent. I think there's a little rass following the, uh, the lure then. Oh, that one hit me like a bloody train. Jesus. Got it up to the surface already. That one hit me bloody hard. It's only small, but... That one certainly didn't hit it. Um, what am I saying? Let's just focus on getting this up first. Keep that pressure on. It could easily come off. Let's use that wave. Oh. God, I made a meal of that. Oh, well, that one got me. Got me a good one, that. Bloody hell. Of what that was, that wasn't the hook of the lure going in my thumb. That was my bloody lure clip. Just went to grab the uh, the lure out the, out the fish then, and it flapped about. Oh. And this part of my lure clip, I don't know if you'll see that on camera, but this part here, went straight into my thumb. So I won't waste any time. I'll get this fish back and then sort myself out. I was picking a bit. Another bass there. But again, let's get it back in the water. Oh, it looks so cool under the water in the winter really see all the blue and white in their fins it's awesome now that's why personally whenever i'm unhooking a fish i always use pliers even if i'm using single hooks anything anything like that i always use pliers 
you can never anticipate how a fish is going to move and when they move they move bloody quickly that one just flapped as i was trying to get the lure out and uh yeah the, the end of my lure clip went straight into my thumb so there's nothing major whatsoever it's just a small prick but it's uh it's pretty deep but it'll be absolutely fine just keep a bit of pressure on it but uh, yeah, every time I don't use pliers when I try and unhook a fish, something bloody wrong goes. So, or something wrong happens. So uh, yeah, I'm going to take a minute or two and then I'll get a lure back in the water. But what a morning it's proven out to be. This is unreal. It's amazing. There's definitely a few fish here today. So now I've got myself sorted out. Stop the bleeding. We'll get this lure back in the water. Now this lure has been in my box for ages and ages and uh, here in Guernsey and like most places in the UK to be honest but especially here in Guernsey you can never ever ever go wrong with a sand eel lure it doesn't matter which brand it is anything like that anything that replicates a sand eel if there's bass there you're 99% chance of catching them so uh, yeah the Savage Gear sand eel's doing the job today and like I said this is the 23 gram that little uh there's a little stick here which just holds the lure in place. I'll just pop that back in. But these uh, these are quite good lures. These, well, they're, I'll say they're quite good. They're very good lures. Um, come in a range of different sizes. This one's getting a little bit battered now, but yeah, quite durable. Um, and uh, yeah, they've got a nice jig head, nice size hook, easy enough to get out. But I may consider changing my lure clips because a few people have actually said to me about these lure clips lately and I've had one or two issues. Apart from that, they've served me really well for the last sort of, well, three years, I reckon. And that's the reason why I keep using them. But um, yeah, little things like that may make me just change my mind and just give something else a, another try. I got the lure back in and within two or three wines, I had another hit then. Yeah, oh, and another hit. Some of them are absolutely smashing the lure and some of them are just sort of swiping at it. Oh, two different hits then. Man, there's some fish in here today, that's for sure. So I'm gonna go for a few casts with the little 25 gram Samson tweak bait. This is the fast sink version. So I'll chuck this out, let it sink two, three, four foot, four foot, and just twitch it about. Look at that. That's why I bloody hate these things. Oh, I'm just getting hit after hit off these bloody garfish now. No matter where I cast, they'd come in in force. Boom, found the bass again. On the little tweak bait there. Whoa, just jigging that about. Bloody hell, this one. Oh, he's come off. No. I hope you picked that up on camera. That one came fully out the water. Oh, that's a shame that one come off, but it's no monster. Literally all I was doing, I banged it out over there. 
just let it settle, let it sink a little bit and then wind in the slack and then literally just tweaking it like that, just pulling it, wind in the slack, pull it again and you tend to always get hit on the slack. So in the last sort of 25 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes since all that action before, it's really, really got a lot quieter now. Um, I've had a few casts with that Samson tweak bait, hooked that one there, one other little bass which came off. Getting loads of pecs from garfish and obviously foul hooked that one which has now made my hands stink. Um, I even put on an IMA Hound Glide, I've had sort of eight casts with that but nothing really happening. Now I can tell when I'm casting the lure into the same place I've been casting most of the time since I've been here. The direction of the tide has changed now and I don't mean by the tide's changed as in it's gone down and coming back up again. Just the way the tide's working around these pinnacles and these little reefs here, you can feel the lure working differently. So what I'm assuming is the bass has sort of moved out from that area and gone to another area. Now I've even fished some shallower ground around here and uh, to to see if they've moved that side but it could just be a case if they've gone further out i'd be fairly confident there'd be the odd ones still around um so yeah i'll probably give it a few more casts and we'll see we'll see if we can pick out one more before we leave maybe so that's going to do it for my relatively short session today um, and it also turned out to be a relatively short window of the fish being here now i've tried three or four different lures when casting out in different directions even moving all the way over to my right uh, to my left here and uh, yeah, not a sniff of anything else. The garfish. So my other camera just decided to die then and save changing a battery, I'll just finish it up on this one. Now like I was saying, the fish seem to have moved off. I'm pretty sure they've just moved further out now. And um, the tide direction's changed, the garfish have gone. So yeah, they really, it does seem to be very, very quiet. So I'm gonna call it there. I've been here for an hour and a half, had my fun. Um, it certainly has been fun. To get into some fish has been brilliant. Um, to get, catch them on a, on a soft plastic lure, I've not really used any soft plastics lately whatsoever. So uh, yeah, it's definitely worth coming down for. I hope you've enjoyed the video, um, I hope you've enjoyed the bass fishing content lately. Um, please feel free to hit the like button and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do. Um, there's always plenty of bass fishing videos going up, if that's your type of thing. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I thoroughly hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one.